this is lesson one of guest relation services, guest rela relation management, associate diploma in guest relation first semester. And today we will speak about unit one and unit two, lesson one. So in today class, we will speak about what is guest relation. We need to understand what is the operation uh, runs by guest relations staff. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to understand that guest relations involves how you communicate with guests. So the basic rules of guest relations is your communication as a staff working in a hotel serving guests. Also, we will speak about importance of the guest services rule, why it's important in the hotel to have good guest service relations what can affect the business, how it can affect the business. And also we will speak about uh, the many types we have it as accommodations and hotel. And also we will speak about different reasons for different choices based on which factors the guest can choose his accommodation. So as a beginning, what do you think the guests are doing here in the pictures? And the pictures, there is a picture in front of you and we can see a desk with two staff sitting behind the desk and two people sitting in front of the desk. What are um, they doing? Booking a room. Yes, they are trying to book a room in the hotel. Um, is this first contact with the guest important? Is this picture reflecting the uh, guest happy or unhappy so contacting reception with uh, the guest from the first point is it important yes why do you think what what is your idea maybe because they have you need the help for example um, for a needed room or for service or something like this? Yes, um, they for sure they need some services from the receptionist, like telling them what's the available room, uh, what's the price for the night. So they need some information from the reception. Um, based on the reception behavior with the guest, uh, if they were nice or they were uh, rude to the guest, uh, is it important to their behavior to the guest? Yes. Why do you think? Why it's important? Because they are a reflection, the skills for the... for the people to know of this kind of... Uh, to talk with him, uh, to be comfortable with the talk with him. Yes, you are right. So based on the behavior of the staff sitting behind the desk who is representing the guest services rule there as a receptionist, if they were rude to the staff, uh, if they were rude to the guest, they, uh, the guest may just leave the hotel and don't show up again. Uh, on the opposite way, if they were nice to the guest, the guest will become happy, uh, feel satisfied staying in the hotel. So it's very important to have good impression from the first contact with the guest. So they are booking into the hotel and we said it's very important. Um, the quality of guest services directly will affect the performance of the hotel. So. It will give the guest from the first contact with the receptionist about how they could expect their stay in the hotel. They will enjoy staying in, the, in this hotel or they will just uh, their stay to finish and maybe they just will uh, check out without staying in the hotel. So it's very important to have good impression from the first contact with the guest. Performance of the hotel can reflect also how many, uh, how much money they will make at the end of the month. If you stayed in the hotel and 
uh, you were happy, you would recommend the hotel to others. So this will mo bring more guests and more customers to hotel, which leads also to more money of the hotel. So this will reflect how much money the hotel makes. Is good guest relations important at only from the first point, only at the reception or also it's important later? So do we take care only for the reception work or also there is another part later while the guest is staying in the hotel? What do you think? Is, just, is guest asking for uh, help only at the beginning only uh, when they stay in the hotel or also they need more help later also they will need uh, help later. yes very good uh, can you think of uh, situations where you need to contact the reception later while you're staying in the hotel maybe we will um, ask them when the buffet will open or or I will ask about somewhere near the hotel. Yes, very good. So you might need help later while you are staying in the hotel, like asking about the nearest tourist places, like restaurants, like museums, uh, last uh, like uh, sightseeing. So you might need to call the reception back later to ask them about some information um also so what i want to get to here that it's important to have good guest relation not only from the first point of contact while check in or uh, booking on the hotel but it's very important to have a good relation with the guest during all the time he stay in the hotel which is the service cycle Okay. Uh, why is that? Because bad service will lead to losing the customer. And we want to keep the customers happy and to make sure that he recommend and leave good feedback on booking websites. Customer service occurs every time an employee speaks to a guest. In teams, you are an employee employee at a hotel, in what situation would you be talking to a customer? As your, uh, as your colleague said, you might need some information later about some places near the hotel. Uh, there is also more situation. Uh, you might need help in the reception. You might uh, need help in restaurant or spa. Uh, asking about, for example, the best dish or uh, the subscription uh, of uh, spa services. Uh, there is also a contact with a guest uh, when selling something to a customer, when uh, answering his query or request or questions, when uh, answering a guest complaint uh, or uh, trying to solve some problem with the guest. So it is very important to have good customer services in many situations and not only at the beginning of chicken yeah. or booking. Yes? What does it mean selling, selling something uh, to customer? Uh, selling something to customer, like I'm working in a shop and uh, I want you to uh, buy something from me. Like I am working in, uh, for example, uh, uh, body product shop and uh, I try to convince you that this lotion is very nice to be used it will make uh, your skin moisturized uh, it will give good smell so I'm trying to to sell something to you to convince you this is the best product for you oh, okay, interesting. okay so in all these situations, we try to avoid make the guest or the customer unhappy. Uh, we have here a lot of uh, terms, organizational procedures and the process. We need to understand what is the difference between these terms. And we have here 
definitions, three definitions that match the terms on the left. So we need to find what is the definition of the organization, what is the definition of procedures and also process, what's the difference between them. So here a series of actions that you take in order to achieve a result. This means you have steps you have to follow, uh, like a plan to get a result, to achieve a result. B, an established or official way of doing something. It's like keeping a policy, uh, having a standard, way to do something like if you want to uh, make a booking then you have to contact someone first then you have to select the night then you have to see uh, to record the information about the guests his name his age uh, the number of nights he want to stay in so then finish the booking so it's like steps official way of doing something storing the information in the system then and see the way an organization does thing it's like uh, how they do their work uh, officially or not officially so to match the definition with each one of this we have organizational mean the way an organization does thing organization it's mean uh, your way in your organization about uh, process about uh, executing different tasks. This means organizational. Monotom. Uh, procedures mean number two, established or official way of doing something. It's like uh, if you want, uh, for example, to issue a new governmental ID for you, you have to book appointment, you have to fill in your information, then you have uh, to go to your appointment, you have to take a photos, then you have to receive your new ID. It's like official way of doing something. So all the people will follow the same steps to create, to have the ID. Okay, so this is procedures, Ijra'at. Then we have a process. Process, it's like the behind of the pictures. So the employees of creating your ID, she has to fill in your information. She has to uh, take a pictures for you. Uh, so this will be a series of actions that you take in order to achieve a result. Okay. So I want you to make sure that you understand the difference between these terms. Okay. Guest services skills are transferable. What does it mean? Transferable, it can be moving from one person to another. Transfer. We transfer uh, the information, we transfer uh, the call, so we move it from a place to another place. As a guest relations specialist, you will develop the skills that will support any kind of business that deals with people. So we can found guest relation, not only in hotels, but in any business that has to deal with customers. Dealing with customers means dealing with people. So we can see this on shops, in hospital, on uh, different companies and telecommunication companies, if you need a service from uh, uh, the customer support in one of the websites. So all this acting and dealing with people have to provide good guest services. It's very important. Why? Because you might lose the guest if you make him unhappy or if he leave you a bad uh, rank on one of the website or if he said I wasn't happy with the service of this hotel so to make him happy there are some skills for the people who will work as guest services the skills you learn will be transferable to any kind of businesses this means 
if you learn how to deal with gusts for and later you try to change your business also the skills you learn it here it will be applied to any other businesses in hospitals in companies uh, a restaurant in any kind of business okay so are you with me ladies yes miss yes miss Yes. yes. I will tell you that I am in the le learn because okay. I'm not. Yeah, Madawi, you are. Thank you, Madawi. Thank you. Madawi. Thank you. Okay. So let us back. Uh, accommodation providers. Accommodation means the type of, uh, or let us say, accommodation means where you are staying. So we have different type of accommodation. Uh, are you staying in apartment, in a flat? The same meaning, apartment and flat. Are you staying in a home? Are you staying in a hotel? So who provide these types of accommodation? A customer has a choice where to stay. If we have a customer, he have a lot of options and choices about where to stay or where to sleep at night. What are the different choices of accommodation when you go on holiday? If you want to go to a holiday, you have a lot of options, a lot of choices where you can stay. So if we think of less, about different type of accommodation we can think of hotels which is a very big hotels having a lot of rooms or motels which is small hotels that have few rooms self-catering apartment hotel uh, apartment with a kitchen with uh, more than one room in a, one place with the living room so apartment boutique hotels which uh, people can share toilet for example and uh, or they can share share the bed bed and breakfast places where you can find uh, only a bed and breakfast holiday campus uh, where they have activities uh, like um, uh, they have activities like uh, they have a beach, they have a gym, uh, they have a garden. So there are a lot of holiday campus or cruise ship, which is a boat on the sea and people go there for traveling a lot of days. So we have a lot of types uh, where we can choose our holiday. This is some pictures. Bed and breakfast properties is very small. Uh, people share uh, rooms there. And uh, the hotel provide the breakfast for the guest. Boutique hotel is uh, more like uh, family houses and uh, people also talk to each other, meet in the lobby. And these are different types of also hotels who provide different uh, facilities like swimming pool, like a garden, like a lobby, uh, like a good view on the city or uh, um, uh, located on the uh, heart of the city. So we have a lot of styles of hotels the modern, the uh, heritage, so uh, which style of the hotel preferred by the guest. This is also another pictures, like uh, which services will be provided in the hotel, uh, jacuzzi, spa, uh, swimming pool, so which types of, uh, of features that will attract the guest to choose this hotel. Motel is small hotels. You can find them in the way uh, of traveling. Uh, small rooms uh, on the way. 
uh, this is a picture of British holiday campus where you can stay there and uh, not going out a lot. So everything you need is in the place where you have stayed. So we need to understand about uh, what are the factors that the guest can choose his accommodation based on. There are for sure a lot of factors. Think about yourself if you want to travel somewhere and you need to book accommodation for you. You will think about how much it will cost you to stay at night. Um, you will think of, are they providing a, a restaurant in their hotel or I have to travel outside to, uh, to eat or uh, are they providing a kitchen? in the room so that I can cook a meal. Uh, the entertainment, uh, what are the, uh, the enjoyment uh, facilities they provided? Do they have uh, uh, like, do they have like uh, theme park or water park? Uh, do they have uh, water uh, games? Uh, do they have uh, loopy? Uh, do they have a coffee shop there? So what type of entertainment they provide? Uh, also, if you have some children, uh, do they uh, provide some place for children to play? Are they a playground uh, for children? So you will think about also what is the facilities available for the children? If a spa, gym, swimming pool, etc. So, uh, are they providing a spa? Is there a gym? Is there a swimming pool in the place? Uh, so for some of the informations here are important to the, uh, to the guests to choose and uh, based on which factors they will choose their accommodation. So they will rank it importantly to them. Uh, for sure, there is also another factors not listed earlier. Uh, some of them like uh, the nearest places, uh, the uh, sightseeing places. Uh, for example, the location of the hotel, is it in the middle of the city or you have to travel uh, and use a taxi to move in. Um, also, there is another uh, factors like uh like what uh, like uh how much it cost uh, like uh, are they providing a meeting room for example if you are going there for a business so we have a lot of factors to think of if we are if we are choosing accommodation uh do you think how you are treated by the staff is important so it's not only these factors but also based on how the staff in the hotel treats you in the reception and the uh, uh, in your arrival in your arriving to the hotel uh, how they welcome you uh, starting from uh, the boy who's standing in the gate uh, or at the door so we have a lot of uh, important issues to think of to make the guest happy so this is called the rule of guest services, how you treat your guest. So by the end of this lesson, you have, uh, you should understand that a guest relation involves how you communicate with the guest. Also, you have to understand the importance of your role as guest services. Um, you have to distinguish between uh, the different types of accommodation. Uh, also, the different reasons for different choices by guests based on which factors the guest might choose their accommodation. This was our first lesson and uh, let us take a break for 10 minutes and come back later to carry on uh, the uh, second lesson. 
So now it is uh, 923, uh, come back here by, uh, let us say, uh, 935. Okay, any, any question, ladies? No, miss. Okay, so uh, come back here by 935 to carry on our lesson. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.